Hi, welcome to Whitey White Guy Show. I'm Whitey. Uh, this just in three hours ago today, 1 3 2022. Theranos founder Elizabeth Holmes found guilty on criminal fraud. I'm reading this off a U.S. national news on um, Twitter, off my Twitter page. Theranos founder and former CEO Elizabeth Holmes was found guilty on two counts of wire fraud, two counts of conspiracy to commit fraud by a jury on Monday. Holmes faces up to 20 years in prison for each guilty count. Yikes. That's 80 years. So we'll see if she's allowed to serve any of that concurrently uh, and trim that down. But yeah, it's even 20 years. And she's a young woman. Uh, she's younger than me, I'm pretty sure. I'll look that up maybe someday. Uh, she was also found not guilty on four counts of fraud. But the jury returned a split verdict on a further three. The jury said they were unable to come to unanimous verdict on three of the counts after more than 45 hours of deliberation. Holmes, uh, the jurors began deliberating December 20th, weighing a total of 11 fraud charges. Holmes misled people into investing millions of dollars into her blood testing startup Theranos, which said... Um, she said was able to diagnose multitude of diseases with just a small finger prick before it was discovered that the technology had never worked as promised and produced misleading results. Yeah, she put people's life at risk. Um, if you're not if you're not familiar, so Elizabeth Holmes dropped out of college at 19, started this company, and over the course of 10 years, the idea was they had what looked like a PC tower, uh, maybe a little bit bigger than that. And that from a very small prick of blood from your finger, it could run dozens to hundreds of tests and catch diseases really early. And you could do this from your home. And then they had a partnership with um, Walgreens for people to go in and do blood tests. And it, the tech never worked. And that's not possible. Um, which people should have known. It's not possible for that small amount of blood to give you an accurate test result. I'm not a scientist or a doctor, but I can tell you that. And, um, but they lied. The, their, her and a guy named Sonny Bawani, her boyfriend and partner in the business, out and out lied to people. And they said at one point that these, these the Theranos device called the Edison was being used on helicopters by the military and it's like <laughs> to do what <laughs> i've been shot here's this computer that's going to tell me i've been shot what would that do so you're out in the field you get shot and it's going to take you 20 minutes to get to shock trauma from where you are in the field and they're going to run some blood tests for some reason huh that didn't make any damn sense. So they were lying uh, through their teeth. And the only defense that they had ish, which is probably why she was found not guilty on some counts, is that you could argue they had an idea that they thought would eventually work. But when you tell people it's working when it's not, that is fraud. You're lying to them. They're investing into your company and you're lying to them about the investment. So, anybody who knows anything about it knew she was guilty and she was going down. The question was, for how many counts? Because, again, you can make some argument they were trying to get the technology to work and it just, they failed, they tried but failed. That's not a crime. To try to invent the technology and fail at it isn't a crime. To lie to people saying it's working when it's not is. So, <clears throat> she's guilty on four counts. She's looking at 80 years. If I'm reading that right, 80 years. Let me look up how old she is because I know she's young. And that's the one kind of, if she tried to make a cell phone that didn't work or a computer that didn't work or a, uh, some kind of game, a console and it failed, eh, you know, you could, you could forgive that. But she put people's lives at risk. You know, when they got false test results, she's 37 years old. So I thought she was much younger at the time. 
and this is years ago now, but uh, she's only two years younger than I am. I would have gone to high school with her. I'm 39. She was born in 84. I was born in 82. Um, so at 19, 20, 21 years old, when these crimes, I don't think, were being committed, they were still just working on the basics of the tech, I could be like, well, she's really damn young. But this, this in the last several years, she's now in her mid-30s. You got to know better. You know, you're in your late 20s, you're in your 30s, you got you know better. You know what you're doing. Uh, you got, and they, they, they raised billions of dollars of investment at one point. The money, you know, how much is somebody worth and how much does somebody actually have in the bank? She was, has been valued at over a billion dollars at times. She's certainly a millionaire, multimillionaire. Uh, the money she's made off of this. Um, and so it's like, you got a company like that making that kind of money. You got lawyers. You got corporate lawyers. You know what you're doing is wrong. So there's no defense of youth and naivete there. Um, so when I thought she was like 25, I'd be like, well, you know, maybe get her a lesser sentence. But uh, 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 she knows what she she knew what she was doing. She knew she had to know she was lying. Her stuff wasn't on army helicopters. And, you know, so that'd be one thing, too, if, you know, she thought the tech was working. She wasn't. She's a, she's a lying scumbag. She made a lot of money off the line. She put people's lives at risk and health at risk. So, um, 37 years old. She's, this is just round up to 40. She's doing 80 years. She's going to get out at 120 years old. Which, in prison, you ain't going to live that long. So, um, she's a pretty white girl. She'll probably find some kind of, get some kind of reduced sentence. But she's definitely looking at 20 years. And uh, is it worth it? You know? what? I get it. When the money's that big, I can kind of see how you could lose yourself in that. But and my sympathies end when you risk people's well-being. That when when you risk people's health on a lie, I run out of sympathy for you. So, rotten hell, bitch. Rotten hell. Cheers.